Hello, my YouTube friends. I finally picked up one of these Cam Link Pros to expand my live streams a bit. Today, I want to show you what you can use it for and how I use it in my live streams. Do you need one? You're going to know for sure after watching this video. So you know what? Let's get to it. A video about live streaming tools wouldn't be complete without today's sponsor, Envato Placeit. I use Placeit in every live stream for my wait screen, my countdown timer, my branding bumper, as well as my logo and my channel banners, and even some of the overlay assets. They have everything a streamer could need all in one place. Now I created my logo in just a few minutes by choosing from one of the designs and then completely customizing everything from the color graphics and placement to the text and the fonts. And that logo can easily be added to all the videos that you can build and use in all kinds of different content that you might create for YouTube, like live or recorded. I absolutely love Envato Placeit and you will too. Click the link in the description below and check it out for yourself. Supporting the sponsors that support this channel is a great way to help me continue to make content that helps you. So thanks. Now the Elgato Cam Link comes in this tiny box and it comes with a card inside that plugs into your PCIe slot on your computer. Inside the box, you're gonna find this right here. It comes with the small card and a bunch of things that only people with really, really, really good eyesight can actually read in this bizarre blue font color and all that stuff. But luckily, it's really easy to install and use. Basically, it adds four HDMI inputs that you can use for a variety of different purposes. If your camera has an HDMI output, you can capture your camera. You can capture an output from another PC through the HDMI output on there into the HDMI input on the capture card. You can also capture game console input for any consoles, but there are a couple of caveats. Game consoles output in 60 frames per second. So the max the capture card will input is 1080 at 60 frames per second because it only does 4K in 30 frames per second. There are also no HDMI pass-throughs to send the game signal to another monitor. So you're going to want to use an HDMI splitter if you want to play on a dedicated screen. It will also take HDMI input from mixers and any other HDMI source that you can possibly think of. The only real limit is your imagination. It also comes with software that gives you extra features. But keep in mind, this is isn't really necessary. I plugged mine in right out of the box and added sources in OBS without any problems at all. But you know what? Let's take a look at the software and I'll show you what it can do. In the 4K capture utility, you have a couple of things that you can do. We're mainly gonna go through the menu and I'm gonna show you some really cool features that you can use. So we just click this gear up in the top right hand corner and it automatically brings us into devices. If we take a look in general, there are a couple of things we can enable here. Mostly you can check updates to make sure you have the latest software for the utility. We're going to go over here into devices and if we drop down the capture device we can look through all of the different things that we have connected to our computer. In my case I have another computer connected, I have a camera connected, and I have the PS4 connected right here. So we have three things being input into our cam link. You can obviously put up to four in here but I didn't have another one so three will have to do. And the cool thing is if you select this HDMI one you see the multi view and if I go down here I can drop this down and I can select things like picture in picture and I can select exactly what input goes in each of the inputs so I can put the ps4 on the big screen and I can put my camera on the little screen and there we go we also have side by side which is pretty cool we have a triple and you can obviously select which inputs you want on each pane and you can go over here and select different layouts and all that kind of stuff it's really awesome and then of course you have the quad which you can have all four of your camera inputs displayed on different monitors or screens or panels that are in this quad right here it is really really cool and it's such a neat tool but it may not necessarily seem like it's that useful for streamers over here in the next tab we've got picture and you can adjust just the brightness, contrast, saturation, and hue of the images. And in recording, you can set up where you want each of these to record and which video encoder you want them to use when they are doing the encoding. You can set your bit rate and you can reduce the preview frame rate so your computer's not wasting clock cycles previewing something that's being recorded. You can also enable flashback recording, which is pretty cool because it'll allow you to go and record something. And there's actually up to a two hour buffer on here. So you can go back an hour and a half 
half and record something that happened that you have on one of your cameras. That is pretty epic. Over in mic, you can select the microphone and that sort of stuff. If you wanna do a specific type of commentary and you just wanted to use one mic or a down mix or anything like that, you can select that. You can also select to be able to monitor your audio. But I think the thing that most people will use is this multi-view. Now I should also mention that this 4K capture utility is completely integrated into the Elgato Stream Deck. So if you're already using it, you can set up this multi-view in a bunch of different ways so that you can just click a button and select exactly how you want it laid out. It's really, really cool. Now once I close this out, if I right click on the main screen, I can toggle it to full screen and this is great if you're playing a game. Generally speaking, when you're capturing another PC, what you're gonna do is play the game on the other PC, capture it on this one, and then go ahead and stream it out. So one machine is doing all of the heavy lifting with playing the game and the other machine is doing the actual encoding and streaming. And most professional streamers are using a method like this and the Camlink Pro is a relatively inexpensive solution that can take care of that. Let's jump over into OBS and I'll show you how easy this stuff is to use. All we need to do is click the plus and go to video capture device and let's capture our PS4 and click OK and we'll just drop this down and select the HDMI input our PS4 is on, in this case HDMI 4, and we can go ahead and customize the look of the device depending upon the resolution we want it coming into OBS at. And if I scroll down here, I'm going to select use custom audio device. I'm going to go down here and select Cam Link Pro Audio 4, which is coming in on our HDMI 4, which should be our PlayStation 4. That's a lot of 4s. We're gonna click OK, and you can see our audio is in here for our PlayStation. Next, we'll go ahead and add our other computer, and we just drop this down. We have it on our multi-view cam link one, and we can set this all up with the audio and video settings that we were talking about before. We'll set it up to cam link pro audio one in case we're going to capture game audio on this. And it would be simple to send all that game audio from the other machine. Now we can shrink these up and mix them around and place them where we want. And because that's coming in on our multi-link cam link one if we wanted to we could go over here into our settings select multi-view and we could change it up however we want we can actually do the quad on that screen if we want to and display all of the different inputs that we have coming in so you don't have to use the multi-view but it's a really nice tool and it is cool to know that it does exist now the last thing we should really talk about is the price and compare this with other products that are on the market now i told you before the one main flaw of the cam link pro is the fact that it doesn't do 4k in 60 frames per second and you know that's kind of a disappointment because if you're running games in 4k you'd really like to be able to export them in 60 frames per second well the only other one that does it would be this black magic deck link quad cam and you can see that this runs 545 dollars and that's a lot of money the cam link pro does everything that you want it to do except for that 4k 60 for 359 dollars but like i said if you really need that at 4K60, your other option is the Decklink Quad at $545. I personally think that you can get by just fine at 30 frames per second in 4K, but you know the choice is yours. The other thing is the Blackmagic Decklink does not have any of the other features like the Quad Cam and all that stuff, the nifty software features that the Cam Link Pro has. It basically is just four inputs that come into your machine. And from what I understand, because I don't actually physically have have one, configuration of this thing is a little bit on the wonky and difficult side. Whereas you just plug in the Cam Link Pro and it works. You don't even need to load the software on there if you don't want to. There is a link in the description below if you want to check out the Cam Link Pro for yourself. If you want to check out another tool that makes streaming a lot easier, you should check out the Stream Deck. I have a video right here. Big thanks to Envato Placeit for sponsoring this video. You can find their links and the links to all the other sponsors that support this channel down below in the description under the heading sponsors. Supporting the sponsors that help keep the lights on here in the studio is a great way to make sure that I can keep making content that helps you. I couldn't possibly do this without them or you. So thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.